Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So, um, today into this particular video, we are going to practice out uh, some of the questions, right, some of your problems uh, related to your classes and objects of your Python, right? So, uh, this is going to be a hands-on session where I have taken up a question uh, which is just right away here in front of you onto the screen. So, I'll be explaining you about this particular question and um, then I'll be taking you towards the hands-on. Like, what's the way or what is the manner uh, into which you can solve up this particular question, right? Even I'll be letting you know because um, classes and objects, it's a quite a, it's quite a, uh, one of the important topics also and the sort of questions comes up uh, for you, right? Let's get started up here. So, my question says that you have to write up a Python class, right? Or the name for the class is going to be a student. Now, into that, you might have two attributes with you, uh, a student ID and the student name. Attributes, we know what is an attribute, right? So, th there will be two of the attributes, a student ID and the student name. And uh, now what you have to do, you just have to add up a new attribute to the student class which you are making. And you just have to display up the entire attribute on their values of the said class, whatever the class we are having. Basically over that, you just have to display up the whole, all of the attributes, right? Now, when you have added up a new attribute, displayed up all of the values, after that, you have to remove up the student name attribute and display all the other attributes with the values. So see, here you will be having three different outputs. As in what is my question saying to me? Uh, first of all, it will be containing the values of both of my attributes, student ID and the student name, right? For the next, it will be having up the values uh, of my new attribute student class, right? So now next, I'll be having three different outputs with me, my three different values. Next, what it is saying, it is asking me to remove up this student name. So now after removing up of my student name, I will be left out with two attributes, student ID and the student class right that is what is i have to do up over here so my program will be having three different steps first will be with both the attributes second will be the three attributes and third step will again will be the two attributes right so whenever you are solving up any question be it uh, python uh, sorry be it classes and objects your threads any any anything even your uh, data structures and algorithms right so into that it's just that you have to uh, check in that what will be your output how many outputs are actually going to come up and uh, then how uh, how will you break up your program how many steps will it be constituting if you are able to uh, clear this much so half of your question is already done right so i hope i am clear with this thing to you uh, so what's let's let's uh, do some hands-on let's start writing up the program for this and let's see like how is it gonna be right so first of all i'm gonna make up the class that same name which was my student class okay great so if you want to put up these brackets if you do not want to and put not a worry Okay, and yes, I'm going to keep capital. Perfect. And uh, my attributes will come. First attribute will be my student ID. Okay. Okay, I... Um, okay, student ID could be A01. Okay. Next is going to be my student name. So, student underscore name. Let's say I'm going to keep up my name only. That's uh, Shambhavi. Okay, perfect. So, first of all, I'll be printing up the original values. Okay, so I'm going to write up that print. Um, print, I, I can write it up in some manner, original. Okay, I would write in manner that from my student class, print the uh, original values okay that's what i wanted to print in 
So as I told you, the first step will be printing up all of these particular three things onto their original values, right? Perfect. Now, next I'm going to print out the attributes and the values for the same. So for that, I'm going to apply a for loop, okay? So for 80, 1. 80 stands for my attribute and val, val I can't keep it, I'm, keep, I'm going to keep value. So value stands for my value which I have. In. So for 80 comma value in my class name student dot underscore underscore dict underscore underscore dot item. See now here what's the case we are having up a student ID and a student name. Right, so that could be stored up uh, into the form of a dictionary. Right, it could be done because uh, an ID and a name for that student, again an ID, again the second name for the student. So this manner it could be done. Right, so um, that's the reason I just took up over uh, here as dict uh, dot items. Okay, get down over here and my condition I'll apply that if not, 80 dot starts with if not 80 dot starts with uh into the bracket under score right now see uh we are having up um, the values right values could be like oh, we are having the id and a name now we know id and a name it can't start with any underscore or something like that right it, it's a simple or uh, numerical or a categorical things which we have up here right so we are just trying to check in that if the uh, id and if the name that are my attributes right if my attributes are starting and not starting with any symbol right we're just trying to check it so if it is not starting with any symbol so what I'm going to do, I'll be printing up my attribute and the value for the same. So f, my f string will start, okay, f will be small. Um, yeah, so my f string will start in and I'll just put that over here. So f string, it's going to be like um, 80, my attribute, right? Um, and here will be my value for the same. So value, right? So, right, that's the first part of my program which is being done i needed to print in my original value c python class the name for the class was student the true attributes were there right so this particular thing is gonna print up the original value so if i run this out over here see for my student class print the original values these are my original values student id is a01 and the student name is shambhavi right that's what is it done Fine. Next procedure goes in that I'll be adding up a, a new attribute student class form. So I can just write up a quick print statement so that um, we get to know from where um, are we going to get in a desired output. So print and I'm going to write out um, adding one more attribute b-u-t-e attribute and that's your student underscore class okay this is statement i can print it. i can just do one more thing i can write a print uh, for this and put up a dash like this so that it separates up both of my uh, values over here right like this it could be done in perfect now we will be trying to add a one more attribute that is my student class into this particular one right so, so I, I can just write in student dot student underscore class right uh, class let's say i'm gonna put up um, okay let's say we put in over here like um, 12th okay 12th like this i can put it up so here goes again my condition that for 80 comma value for 80 comma value in student okay s will be capital in student dot underscore uh, okay stu student dot underscore underscore bit underscore underscore dot um, 
item right so yeah for that let's get down over here and again my same condition will be applied that if um if not 80 dot starts okay 80 dot um, starts with brackets again same that underscore pull in now then what do i have to do i just have to simply print in my if the strings in the brackets i need to write in 80 double dash and there will be my value for the same one second value right so yeah this will actually help me out to uh, print in the value which is being added that's my student class okay so if i run this up over here so check it out now adding one more attribute student class the student id name and the class right that's all done over here correct so yeah that's the thing um great moving further i'm gonna now i need to remove up that student name from here right so i'm again i'm gonna print up a statement before that i'm gonna like put these lines over here right so i'm gonna write up print um it will now be removing the student underscore name attribute okay removing this um next i'm gonna use up the del option the del function it will help me to delete up that one so del student dot student underscore name i need to delete this thing right i need to delete this one okay getting down i will apply up the same condition for it for 80 comma value in student dot underscore underscore dict underscore underscore dot items colon getting down i'm gonna again put up the condition that if 80 sorry if not 80 dot starts with again i'm gonna put up the bracket dash over here okay not like this underscore will be coming get down and i will be printing up uh, things like uh, printing my f string that is my att my sorry at my attribute putting up the arrow over here and next i'll be having up the value for the c right and it's all done it's the time for running this once again and see now in the last result which i'm having from you my student underscore name has completely been removed out right so yeah this is the method how you can do the see the question um if you read it at one go it might not that it might not seem that easy as the program was for it but uh, it's just that you try to break up down this particular question into the different different parts and um, after breaking this down the question might be much easier for you and once you start implementing up the things and trying to put those over it's gonna be super easy for you right so I hope I am pretty much clear with this particular thing to you about this question, how you can solve up a question of this particular sort. And um, even in the same manner, I'm very soon going to launch out my DSS series. So stay tuned. If you have liked the video, if you enjoyed the videos, do subscribe out my channel and share this video with your friends. Do hit a like button for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, thank you and take care.